Meanwhile, the European Union stands divided over the idea of banning Russian tourists from visiting Europe. An appeal made by the war-torn nation Ukraine, the bloc's foreign ministers are all set to hold meetings starting tomorrow for discussions in Prague as the 27-member grouping will study the implications of the tourist ban. Now, the EU foreign policy chief, Joseph Borrell, who will be chairing the meeting, has already expressed apprehensions in prohibiting all Russians from entering Europe. The EU move is now aimed at reducing the number of visas issued to Russian nationals that would make getting travel documents significantly more complicated and also very expensive for Russians. However, it falls short of an outright ban on visas. The European Commission has also insisted on the need for humanitarian access for dissident Russians. Now, the EU's meet came in response to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's demand asking the West to shut its borders to all Russians, including tourists. The Kiev has accused the Russians of supporting the war and cheering missile strikes on Ukrainian cities. A furious Kremlin has called Kiev's appeal as completely irrational while pledging retaliation. And some EU nations neighboring Russia have already moved to bar or limit visas to Russians. However, EU-wide ban is still in place as many members fear that it would actually shut the door on dissident Russians who are trying to flee from their homeland. In the month of February, the European Union had restricted visas in certain categories for Russians linked to the Kremlin. And that included restrictions for officials, diplomatic passport holders and also company owners. But the tourist visas were still permitted. In a bid to isolate Moscow, Finland, a European country that shares its longest border with Russia, will slash the number of tourist visa applications from Thursday to just 10% of the earlier usual numbers as the Finnish law does not allow for a flat-out ban based on an applicant's nationality. The measure is bound to create an obvious impact and a retaliation as Russians had massively turned to land travel through Finland to reach other European nations after EU sanctions had resulted in closing European airspace to flights from Russia. The EU members such as Latvia, Lithuania and Poland have also stopped issuing new tourist visas to Russia's owing Owing to the Russia-Ukraine war, Lithuania has said that if no EU-wide ban is agreed on, then it could seek a regional solution banning the tourists. And that would possibly also include Latvia, Estonia, Finland and Poland. While the Czech Republic has argued that business as usual for Russians in terms of aggression is simply inappropriate. On the other hand, countries like France, Germany and Portugal have also opposed a tourist ban, insisting that Russian journalists and other civilians fearing persecution should continue to be allowed entry. Now, the EU sanctions require unanimity amongst all 27 member nations and this is where a sanction of this nature may not actually go through. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.